Welcome. It is almost the beginning of May, and you know, we need to do some little resetting. So I thought I'm gonna get a little bit of a small cooking chat. I don't really know if people would want to watch me do this because it's a very basic meal, and clearly I need to put dishes away. But I am gonna be making meatloaf tonight, and then I have. Uh, little potatoes that I'm going to make mashed potatoes with because I like to use the little potato co with double focus. There we go. Um, because they make really good small potatoes like this that I'm not going to need to cut them. And I'm lazy and I don't want to cut them. And also, I'm not a person who cares if there is skin on my, my mashed potatoes, you know? So, it works just fine for me. So, I just throw them into um, a strainer in the sink. I don't know how much I'll really talk during this because I'm kind of just vibing and chilling. Also, excuse all the sounds because it's. 80 degrees and my apartment is sitting at like 85 with the windows open so I close them and turn the air on. Alright, and I've mentioned before my family has an Angus cattle farm. This is some packaged ground beef from the farm. That's why it says not for sale on it. Also, per usual, my family labels nothing, so that, I mean, there's like no labels on what, how much it is, or when we got it, because we probably obviously eat an entire cow a year, if not more than that, a little bit. And I'm not gonna pan down because I feel like, um, I feel like ground, like raw beef is like disgusting to look at for some people. Well, really any raw meat, but I feel like. Ground beef is just one of them, like, it's really kind of gross to look at times. Oops, got a little beef everywhere. Mine is pretty simple. I just uh, mix in some French onion soup and some breadcrumbs and some eggs and a little bit of milk. Just a little bit of milk to help give it a little bit more moisture. I also feel like this is gross when I do that. And some breadcrumbs. No measuring. We don't do measuring around here for this. I did put an extra egg in this tonight simply because I didn't want one egg left in my fridge. Welcome back. We're gonna be doing the calendar now. Although, before we really get started, I'm gonna cross off today's stuff in my planner. So, we will flip to May. And I'll set that off to the side. I actually really like this color. Okay, I've lost my black marker like an idiot. Ha, I found it. <laughs> Just blending in with all the black stuff I own. Okay, me on a Wednesday this week for this month. I know what I'm doing, guys. 
I'm a professional. I feel like I'm writing these numbers much bigger this month. I don't know why, but <laughs> we already started, so we're gonna do it. Done with that. Okay, let's do some of the fun stuff here first on it. <clears throat> It is my youngest brother's birthday. And it's also one of my best friends from high school's birthday. I think those are the only birthdays I have. So the litter box is being changed here. And then one, two, we'll have to change it here. And then I'm getting paid. Man, I messed that up there. I'm about to redo the 14. Get paid here. And here. And here. So the problem is, is that I use wet erase markers so you can't just like wipe stuff away after it dries. Yeah, I gotta wait. Got it all over my hand. Oh my gosh, I'm on the struggle bus. Okay, where's the black one? We need to redo the 14. There we go. There we go, fixed. It's fixed now, don't be worried. Oh, okay, there's those. We did that one. Let's write some bills on here. Apparently I did not feel the need to write several things in my planner this month for bills, but I know when they are. I think I've said this before, this just helps me visualize like what I need to like budget paycheck wise. Okay, done with that one. Done with that one. I really, I, I feel like I have an appointment, but I do not. I do not, I do not, but this, I, we're gonna try the yellow and see how it comes out, guys. You guys can't see it, but I'm gonna write Memorial Day down here. There we go, Memorial Day. Oh, that's actually not that bad. I thought the yellow would be a lot more faint. Interesting. Okay, it's us who we're gonna write in the Mother's Day because I love my mother. Mother's Day. There, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> I don't know why. I thought the yellow would be like super crappy. And then I already pretty much scheduled all of my sprint, my Monday sprints, anyways. go through the books <clears throat> I for sure need to read okay so let's do my net galley ones over here You guys can't see that because I don't know where I'm writing. Let me move this in the frame better. It's on my net galley. And then these are for videos. 
which are the way they both are. But we have this one. This is going to be helpful if I knew where my phone was, but I currently don't. Let's go just look at the series of this. Yay! Oh my gosh, I did it again, guys. Why can I not be a normal person with writing? Hello, EMS. It's a good thing I still have this wet paper towel by me, right, guys? Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck, I just gotta redo the five, too. Fuck that up. Fuck that up by getting wet, huh? I am struggling th this month, guys. I don't know why I struggle so hard to do a calendar. Is in five. Try. Okay, and then over here. <clears throat> I need to read Clockwork Angel. <clears throat> Move this over here so I can see what's on the shelf. Ta da! Okay. And then I need to read. Again, I struggle. My brain can't do this tonight. Ah, oh, damn it. Sometimes I hate my life. <laughs> I am struggling so hard. I need another paper towel. I don't know why do I struggle so hard this month. I just gotta redo all of that. It's a pretty blue, at least. Like, I don't know why I'm struggling. <sighs> Damn it. And then I got that wet, so now I gotta redo that part out. And the five again. <laughs> Guess it'll only take 10 minutes, I said. Lies. What an absolute lie. <clears throat> I'm just gonna finish writing in the green before I go back to that. What is that one called? Also, started that off wrong. That is not the title. those <clears throat> are either butter reads or videos that I need books I need to finish for videos in May and then let's retry this one again guys <laughs>
don't mess with it anymore. Let's just, just leave it go. Okay. I think I should just call it before I mess it up more again. <laughs> uh, at least we got something done. Do a quick overview. So here we go all the way over here. The yellow actually is showing up a lot better than I thought it would. And I don't know why I wrote so big this month, but I'm like kind of vibing with it. So we're going to leave it. All right. So we are going to do um, the calendar part here now. Um, I do apologize for the loud sounds. It is the air conditioner. It is 90 degrees here today, Fahrenheit. So um, I'm dying. So the air is going to be running because it is currently trying to cool down some. I did have it on all day because I knew it was going to get hot. But um, I do leave it a little bit higher when I'm not home versus when I am. Not too much higher because, you know, I do have Ellie and Shelby here. But I do leave it about four degrees warmer than what I like to sit at. So it's, it's not like they, they're fine. Eleanor was a little bit hot earlier, but that is because we did take a walk in the 90 degree weather to the duck pond, which there were no ducks today. There were no squirrels. She's very disappointed. She's pouting over by the door. But we're going to go over my April um, books read here first. Now, I don't think I put books in for everything that I read, but I did do a fair bit. We're going to pull up my story graph since I like my story graph the best and we're just going to simplify it to april's and in april i read 16 books according to story graph and it was a little over 5,000 pages which you guys can't see but it is my little graph is here so i i read quite a variety of moods pretty much medium pace did read um i did read a chonker two of them actually and most of them were 300 to 499 pages, mostly some fiction and romance and fantasy are tied, which isn't surprising since those really are my main two um, genres. And about 50% of my books were audio. Pretty, pretty actually amazing that I got 25, 25 and 50. That's, I've never seen that happen before. And I had a pretty decent reading month rating wise. My lowest rating was a three. My highest was a five. I had three, three stars and five, five stars, which, you know, is pretty solid. You can see that there's this one day in here. I apparently read 544 pages. I don't know what I was doing that day, but I read so much. That was the 14th. I really don't know what I did that day, but I read so much. That's a good question. But um, we'll go into my books. We'll scroll back to the beginning of the month. So there are some of them that I did not count for any readathons because I just finished them in the month. Um, and I read a majority of them in March. Like um, Prisoner of Azkaban, I read a majority of it in March. 112263, uh, a majority of it was read. Prior to that, I finished like the last 100 pages in April here. Rules of Magic, I did read a majority of it also in March, but I read like the last 25-ish percent in the beginning of um, April here. And I think Titan's Curse is where I start considering things, but, uh, you know, the rest of these are pretty much what I read in the month of April. So first I have my Aurelium one here. Um, the only one I managed to read was The Engagement Party by Finley Turner, which I ended up giving a three and a half stars, which um, is pretty um, pathetic, but I read 316 pages for this challenge. You can see that I picked other books for it, like Fourth Wing, Order of the Phoenix, and Battle of the Labyrinth. I just, I didn't get to um, any of those. The only one I started was um, Fourth Wing, and I'm only like a hundred or so pages into it, and it is May 2nd now, so... You know, I did, I started it. It's just, I always really don't do my Aurelian books in the month. I don't know why, but I just, I don't tend to. So then I did um, TBR Takedown and I kind of just picked in uh, shows where I put stuff. So like The Engagement Party again, Finley Turner. I put that for a digital TBR book. Uh, I was on hold since December of last year for it. So I did read it. Like I said, three and a half stars. It was better than Darby Kane's engagement party, in my opinion, but still um, not a very high rating for me. 
Like, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't the best thriller I've ever read. Um, Blue on the cover, I did Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. And this is a five star. This is probably going to make a top 10 book of 2024 at the current rates. I loved it so much. I am so angry I didn't read it sooner because I enjoyed it so much. And it's for sure bumped Yours Truly, which I also have on by her, up on my TBR list because we're here for it. Um, here for the drama is the last book I finished in April, which I did for Animal on the cover because there is like a little dog on the cover. Again, three and a half star. Wasn't the best wasn't the worst. Kate Bromley also wrote Talk Bookish to Me, which I loved, which I then put the rest of her books on my like favorites list on Hoopla to find them back. And Here for the Drama is her second book. Not the best in my opinion, but mm, not bad. So then I did um, for male main character, I did Red, Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare. This was a buddy read I needed to do for my Shadowhunters read along. But there's a group of us who are reading um, a book from the Shadowhunters universe every month this month we did red scrolls of magic i give it a four we really did like alex and magnus's relationship but uh there was just like a little bit of parts that like could have been better throughout it alex is it not my favorite character magnus is but you know i can deal with it um, Alec. He's just a little uptight to me. So then um, I just picked two books for the two TBR books and I just picked two books I needed to read for um, a vlog that should be coming out. I don't know when. I'm on the hold list for quite a few of the books I need for that vlog. I did Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown and The Light We Lost by Jill Sanampolo. Read them both very close together. Finished them like on the same day. They only took me a day or two to read. Well, Braving the Wilderness took me two days because I started it in the evening and then I finished it up in the morning but it's, it's pretty short. Um, I gave Braving the Wilderness three stars and The Light We Lost three and a half. The Light We Lost would have been higher but it does have um, cheating in it and uh, I just I don't really condone cheating so it did not get down a star for me for that reason alone. Right on the cover I did Evidence of Love by Jim Atkinson. This was nonfiction, and when I started, I, I knew it was nonfiction going in, but when the audiobook started, it read so much like a fiction book that I was confused. Like, I was like, are you, we for sure this is nonfiction? Because this is totally reading like a fiction book. And then green on the cover, I did Green Mile by Stephen King. It has a little bit of green. I counted it. Green Mile, um, pretty middle of the road. I gave it three and a half again. Uh, middle of the road as far as Stephen King is concerned. Not my favorites. Not the worst one I've read. Eh. Towards the middle. Part of a series, I read Beautiful Bitch by Christina Lauren. This is book one and a half. And it, it comes right after um, Beautiful Bastard. It continues on with Bennett and, um, well wait, that's her name. I was like, what is her name? So it continues them, leads up to a little bit after that. Yellow on the cover, I did the in-between by Hallie Valhos. This book, I am not a crier. Let me just put that out there, guys. I am not a crier, but this is a top five book of 2024, guaranteed, because it made me cry almost every single chapter. If she would ever write more, this is also nonfiction, but if she would ever write more, I would devour it. It was so powerful and so raw, and you can tell that this is really her calling is to be a hospice nurse she's so caring in all of the stories about how these people have touched her lives and how she's helped them feel comfortable in their final days it's it's just so amazing to listen to and she really is a light in a very dark world let me tell you oh i got a weird heart palpitation there it made me cough i don't i don't know why that always makes me cough but it does and i guess if you guys didn't know i do have a heart condition and Sometimes my heart does weird things, and that was just one of the things it just did. I'm gonna pull my laptop out to be able to do um, count real quick for a calculator. Okay, I have a grand total for this. It is 3,390. And prompts we hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pretty solid for me. Like I said, I didn't put books in for everything that I finished this month simply because either I just 
was feeling lazy and didn't want to put the books in, or I just felt like it didn't really fit any of the, the prompts. So then I also did library a thon. So again, uh, recent acquisition, Evidence of Love, 400 plus pages, The Green Mile, that is a 500 plus page book. 2022 or earlier, The Light We Lost. Favorite author, Cassandra Clare really is one of my favorite authors. I probably own the most books by Cassandra Clare or Rick Riordan. Nonfiction, I put Braving the Wilderness because, you know, that was probably the first nonfiction I read this month. Excuse you, computer. Um, new release, I put The Engagement Party simply because it was published at the end of last year, so it's, it's pretty new. Audiobook, I did The In Between and Beautiful Bitch, I did for multiple point of view because it does switch back and forth between their point of views. We'll just do the counts real, the, the prompts real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let me do a tally of the pages real quick. All right, total for a library of fun was 2,618. All right, so then we are going to start my May TB, um, TBR readathon stuff. Um, I'm not really participating in too many in May. I do know I'm mainly a thought is coming up in June, so I don't want to over overwhelm myself. So the only one I'm doing in May is the Escape the Readathon. So and for Escape the Readathon, I joined Film Crew simply because um Film Crew like fits right up my alley. I'm the idiot who would totally go into somewhere haunted and be like, let's film. It's actually something I'm planning on doing. Uh, this summer, you know, logically. All right, so I'm just going to start with, um, like, the prompts that we've already been given. All right, so I have all of those little prompts here posted. And um, the first prompt down here was revealed for the Ferris wheel, so I did go ahead and put that down there so I can work on that. I, I guess I didn't really explain any of these prompts though, which would probably be helpful for myself. But um, favorite genre, pretty easy um, this month. Our Shadow Hunter book is Clockwork Angel, which is fantasy. Fantasy is probably my all time favorite um, genre. Um, <clears throat> Unfair Wheel will be the top of my TBR. You know what? I do have the books. I just need to find the title, which is pretty close to the top of my list. Um, I just blink on the name. It's a NetGalley book I have. I'm not going to put the authors because there's two of them and, you know, I probably could just put their last names. Those are short. There we go. Oops, wrong button. Popcorn read. Don't really know if I'll do anything for that one yet. We'll skip it for now. Matches. I'm just gonna abbreviate this. Okay, so I found a whole book that matched someone's thumbnail, and now I cannot remember whose it was. All right, the only one I can think of that I thought, oh my gosh, I should totally read this, is Divine Rival, because I've heard so much about it. So we're just gonna write that. Sorry, I don't know why my brain blanks so hard on that. All 
all three you read from before. And hit me if you want, but I'm just gonna write down the other Nut Galley book that I need <laughs> to read this month. Intimidating read. I have so much on my TBR, it's not even funny, guys. I don't know what my most intimidating read would be for this month. Yeah, you know what? I need to read Mr. Mercedes by King. That's gonna be pretty intimidating, it's raining blood on the cover. So, my friends want to start a book club, so this is the pick for this month. Friend recommends. Let's see, what do my friends recommend for me? You know what, we're gonna go crazy for this and I know fucking around has been highly recommended and I have an audio of it do not worry five star prediction five star prediction no there we go um you know it's been on my list for a while, which is always the first to die. And obviously I can't do the pulpit, so I just need to decide which, if I want to do the spinner wheel or the isolated setting, which I may do the spinner wheel and put the multiple audiobooks that have come in in the past few days on there because I got so many that came in. Or like the book club picks I have to read for this month. You know, I, so many came in, so. All right, there's, there's We Have It. I'll write down like the pages and the prompts after because I know these prompts are being revealed, but you know, there we have it for this month.